Not again. Stop raining. Go away. Alright guys, today on Tip Tuesday we are going to talk about the importance of a putting routine. The importance of a putting routine, I don't think a lot of people understand how important or how crucial it is to becoming a better putter. Uh, look at the top players in the world. Paul and Beth, Rigby Saki, Philo right away, uh, Nate Sexton. Nate Sexton's a machine. Uh, look at those guys putting. Simon Lazat, Eagle McMahon. All these guys have the same exact thing. If you were to stand them and hit a button, you could just, you could just hit a button and be like, Paul and Beth, put, hit a button. <laughs> like a freaking robot. Same with Aaron's Ricky and Simon. They all have the same exact routine. It's, it's watch the footage, watch any online footage. They go up to the disc, they go do 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 bang, do 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 bang. It's, it's so machine-like, it's crazy. And I think people just overlook it. I think they're in awe with the, how much they're hitting the putts, and they're actually looking to what uh, they're doing. They're worried about, did he curl his wrist? Did he pop his fingers? Where's he aiming? How fast is he putting? They're worried about all of that, and you're not worried about what got them to there. Um, and that's what I want to talk about in this video is the importance of that. If, if I go up to a putt and I go, okay, stand behind my mark, I got my stance, my feet are in line, all right? I see the basket, I hold my hand out, I turn it just slightly, I bring it to my left leg, I follow through with the weight transfer, my fingers pop, pointing at the basket, the putt's already out of my hand. What did I not do that entire time? I didn't think about it. I didn't think about missing. I didn't think about, oh, this is for a birdie. I didn't think about, oh, crap, if I don't make this, he's going to gain a stroke on me. I didn't think about any of that. If I step up to my putt and I go through my routine, ding, 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 poof, the whole missing, the whole nerves, all of that is gone because I'm not worried about anything else other than making sure I do my routine the exact same way every time. If I mess up my routine, it's going to give me a, that light bulb, ding, hey, guess what? When you brought your hand down, you didn't actually bring it as far down as you normally do. That's why you short-armed it. That's why you hit the gauge. You'll be able to pick up little things in your game that's going to make you such a better player so much faster. Uh, just really focus on it. Focus on developing routine. And eliminate those variables, as many variables as possible, especially the variable up here. If you can get your mind out of putting, about all the negatives, you're going to instantly make some, no matter what your technique is. There's no perfect technique, there's no perfect routine, but it's something that you can easily repeat every single time, so when you do something wrong, you know what it is. It's that moment when you do something wrong, and you miss that putt, you're like, oh, I just, I broke my wrist on the way up, that's why the putter went nose down. You'll be able to pick up on little things like that, that, you know, a lot of people don't notice. They're just sitting there like, this putt's just not going in. Why do I keep missing right? Well, maybe because your hand's finishing right at the pole. But you won't know that unless you're doing the same exact thing every single time. So that's just a quick tip on Tip Tuesday, guys. Uh, I got this tropical storm or something heading up towards me. It's been raining like every day. Oh my goodness, I'm trying to get videos out to you. I got a stack of plastic like this tall that I got to do reviews on. I feel like, oh, I'm so just, oh, I got a lot coming on, but definitely want to get this, this Tip Tuesday out because I really think that it is one of the most important Tip Tuesdays I've done in a long time. And that is developing a putting routine that is easily repeatable so you can easily identify the mistakes in the putt and why you missed. That's, just, that's the end of the goal, right? That's, that's, the, that's the goal, is when you let that putt go and it doesn't go in, you're not gonna go, why'd that happen? You'll know, hey, you didn't do this. Trust me, it's gonna help, it's helped me a lot. And I, I just know it's gonna help you guys, so. Yeah guys, that's Tip Tuesday today. If you liked the video, always smash that thumbs up. Do you have a unique putting routine or uh, a cool putting routine that you do that not many other people do? Let me know in the comments section. Uh, I love reading you guys' stories and comments about just random stuff that you guys come up with and I'm just like, I didn't even think about it. It's nuts. And uh, yeah guys, as always, be a subscriber. Uh, I got a couple days left on all these giveaways. All these reviews that I just did are all giveaways and I got a couple more days before I pick winners for each one of them. So make sure you're subscribed. 
And uh, yeah, guys, until next time, take it easy.